Welcome to Kehlot, Rajasthan. The Kehlot government has a lot more to offer than you can ever think of. It has become a safe hideout for rapists, criminals, terrorists and Islamists. Currently, it has become the talk of the town for only one reason, which is it slowly turning into a living hell for Hindus. But why? Well, that is because the Kehlot government is hand in glove with Islamists. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Tejasvi Malhotra. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story in this video, I'm here to prove that the Gehlot government is in cahoots with the Islamists. The state where an Islamist cleric issues open threats in presence of the police. The state where communal clashes are some sort of daily affairs. The state where child marriage is legalized and the state where a heinous crime like rape is on a rampant rise. Well, I'm not talking about multiple states as Rajasthan alone has successfully managed to overshadow other states when it comes to unsafe places for women, children and Hindus. A few days after one Kanahiya Lal was killed by Islamists for supporting Nupur Sharma, another Islamist named Salman Chishti threatened to kill Nupur Sharma. Salman Chishti, Khadim of Ajmer Darga, allegedly gave a provocative statement against the suspended BJP leader Nupur Sharma. Salman Chishti, however, was arrested around 12.45 am on Wednesday for releasing a video in which he can be heard promising to give away his house to anyone who beheads Nupur Sharma. Salman Chishti in the video said, I swear by my mother who gave birth to me, I would have shot her publicly. I swear by my children, I would have shot her and even today I say, whoever brings Nupur Sharma's head, I will give him my house. Salman promises this. Ajmer ASP Vikas Sangwan said that the police have adopted a very strict attitude regarding this video. He further added that Salman Chishti is seen in a drunken state in the video. I must agree that Rajasthan police is actually very strict when it comes to protecting Islamists. Yes, don't be shocked as a video which is now making rounds on social media makes us believe so. What is the video about? What does it depict? Well, if you go through the video, you will find Ajmer police trying to safeguard him from being punished. While arresting Chishti, someone from the police can be heard saying what exactly you are high on while recording the video. The video moving forward shows Chishti saying that he does not drink. A police officer then says, say that you were drunk so that it will be easy to save you. Mind you, it has been a couple of days since the video of Chishti threatening to behead Nupur Sharma went viral. So what took it so long for him to be arrested? Moreover, what makes the police justify the crime committed by Chishti? Shouldn't we believe that the Gehlot government is actually hand in glove with Islamists? It is not the only instance indicating the supposed connection of Ashok Gehlot with Islamists. Kanaya Lal, who was brutally murdered by Islamists, had informed the police about the threats he was receiving. Instead of providing him with the required security, the police arrested him. Moreover, on the 4th of June, a Muslim cleric had also given open threats to chop off the tongue of those who insult Prophet Muhammad. The video from Bundi, Rajasthan went viral on internet. However, the Gehlot government kept him up. After widespread demands of his arrest and immense pressure, the Gehlot police woke up from their sleep and arrested the cleric just to release him within 24 hours of his arrest. Further, the Gehlot government is also to be blamed for the murder of Kanahiya Lal, as Lal urged for police protection, which was denied to him. Not just this, but rape, raising down of Hindu mandirs have also become a normal instance in the state. Meanwhile, Rohit Joshi, Rajasthan Minister Mahesh Joshi's son, was accused of raping a woman. And all that the chief minister did was link the rape cases to unemployment and get away from it. Now that we have proof that the Gehlot government is completely responsible for what is happening in the state, it is time for the central government to pitch in and teach the state government a lesson of their life.